The stages of birth. This video deals with the key points only and it's related to leaving surf biology, the chapter on human reproduction. It's a really long chapter, so it's always best to break it down into sections and to use your textbook. So we'll begin by stating that birth begins with the onset of very mild contractions. But the most important thing to remember is that hormones play a huge role in birth and there are many of them. We don't have to deal with them all for our Leaving Cert course. But one hormone is oestrogen and oestrogen levels rise towards the end of pregnancy. And oestrogen is very important because it stimulates the development of oxytocin receptors on the uterus wall. And oxytocin is a hormone that causes uterine contractions. So oxytocin will make the uterus contract. So oxytocin is this very important hormone that causes the uterus wall to contract or to squeeze to push the baby out and oxytocin secretion increases as labour progresses. So as labour progresses more and more oxytocin is secreted and this is because it's the stretching of the cervix that stimulates the secretion of oxytocin from the pituitary gland Contractions push the baby down, stretching the cervix, the stretch is detected and so more oxytocin is secreted and this intensifies those contractions. And this is an example of positive feedback. So more stretching means more oxytocin, which means more intense contractions. But the birth of the baby means the stretching will stop and so oxytocin secretion will also stop. So we now can appreciate the role of hormones in the process of giving birth, which is known as parturition. And remember, this is a very simplified version of what happens in birth. There are many other hormones and more complex processes involved. A previous exam question asked, how would you know if birth is starting? Well, the first indicator is that there are contractions. The woman feels contractions. Another sign is the mucus plug that is sealing the cervix gets released and when this is released it's called or referred to as a show. Another sign as well is that the waters break so the amniotic sac bursts releasing the amniotic fluid. So when you're answering a question on birth you must know that there are three stages of birth and be able to state something about each of those stages. So stage one this is where you have those contractions and the contractions are going to intensify. Stage one is also where the cervix will thin and dilate to 10 centimetres, widen to 10 centimetres. The amniotic sac will burst releasing the amniotic fluid so this is the waters breaking and stage one is the longest of the three stages. Stage two is just the baby is pushed out through the vagina out of the woman's body and stage three is the delivery of the afterbirth commonly referred to as the placenta. It was commonly practiced that the umbilical cord would be clamped and cut immediately as soon as the baby was born. However science has moved on and this is not considered best practice. It still does happen in certain medical situations but it's generally believed that delayed umbilical cord clamping and cutting is best for baby. The placenta contains around 100 mils of the baby's blood, so it's of benefit to the baby to get this 100 mils back because it boosts the baby's iron levels. The World Health Organization recommends waiting at least one minute before clamping and cutting the cord, and in the UK it's common practice to wait two minutes. So for your exam, the most important thing you need to know is that there are three stages of birth and you have to be able to list the basic details relating to each of those stages, bullet points only. Just remember as well that science advances and these advances will influence practices. They'll change them, such as in delaying, clamping and cutting the umbilical cord. Human reproduction is a very important long topic. It appears nearly every year on the exam, so it's worth revising. Break it down into sections, make it simple. And remember that hormones are really important in this chapter and could be tied in with the endocrine system. You could get a nasty question. Always use your textbook and do pass papers. Good luck.